as you might know, I'm a big fan of the exterminators. But when it came to the noise exterminator, there were more and more other solutions which came close or in some cases were even better. So it was hard to justify why to spend so much money for a solution which was, let's call it, outdated. But that all changes today with the new AI3 for noise exterminator and what's all behind it and what it really can do, I will show you right after the trailer. Hey, this is View Into Space, I'm Sascha from Switzerland. So grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. So it was kind of expected, Ross hinted it multiple times in the last weeks that the exterminators would get an update this year and the start made noise exterminator, which was also the one who really needed this update the most. So I will tell you first a little bit theoretical what actually changed, what functionality is there now and how you should use it. And then we go to my computer and I will show you the real magic. So Ross has actually built a completely new neural network architecture and training method that is much more affecting in maintaining the details, even faint details in shadow regions, while at the same time suppressing the large scale noise. He also added some iterative reductions. You can now state how many iterations the tool should do. And obviously, as always, it's also here the trick to do as many iterations as necessary to completely remove the noise, but not too many that some artifacts would appear. Russ also added an intensity color separation checkbox. That's a new functionality that will apply different amounts of noise reduction to the intensity part, so how bright it is, and the color part. So that's very helpful if you have more of the color noise and it gives it then a more natural appearance. There's another functionality where you can separate the high and low frequency. So high frequency would be the fine scale and low frequency the larger scale. Now I think a very important part is that all this is done in a non-generative AI fashion. Russ clearly states that he believes that generative AI has nothing lost in astrophotography. And that is actually true in all of his tools, be it the noise exterminator, the blur exterminator or the star exterminator. And we see it perfectly in the demo why this is so important. And also note, while I just told you now all these features, in the demo, I do not use them because <laughs> I believe in simplicity. I really like tools where you do not have to experiment with a million functions until you get to the best results. And in all these examples, which I tried out, just with the default functions, I got to a perfect result. That doesn't mean it's bad that all these new features are available because there might come situations where they're very handy, but just to state, it's not like we have now every time to think about new functions to use or not, but in most situations, it just works like the old noise exterminator did. And last but not least, the question, should you apply noise exterminator before in the linear phase or in the non-linear phase or both? And in this specific case, Ross is here very relaxed. He states that anyway, NXT stretches the picture to do the noise exterminator and then reverses the stretch. So from that point of view, if the picture is already stretched or not, doesn't matter. So you can use it wherever you want, how many times you want, and there shouldn't be any negative impact. Well, if you use it repetitively, obviously at one point the picture will lose details, that's obvious, but it's not a big no-no. So if you want to do a little bit at the beginning in the linear phase and then another bit in the non-linear phase, that's absolutely okay. And before we go now to my computer, I would like just to tell you that I have exclusive Pix Insight full tutorials for RGB, for HOO and so on with the newest tools and scripts on my Patreon channel. 
And if you want to watch them, you can get the test subscription for free and you might want to stay with us for the price of a cup of coffee a month. Link is in the description below. But now let's go to the PC and really look at what Noise Exterminator AI3 can do. Okay, welcome to my computer and welcome to Pix Insight. So let's look now what the Noise Exterminator version 2 or AI3 can actually accomplish. We do that based on three pictures. One picture here is a part of the Jellyfish Nebula. I shot that recently. That's of good quality, but it obviously still has some noise when we enlarge it. So that's, I would call, a default situation. But you know what I say? In default situations, usually every tool will do. It's like when you use paint on Windows, it really doesn't matter if you use a mini computer or the latest gaming machine, it just works. So that's why I always take my biggest trash that I have and see what it can do then. And that's for me really the interesting part where you see the power of these tools. So beside this one, we have a very horrific one, which I shot at the very beginning of my astrophotography career with my CPC 800. And we have one of the Seastar S30, which is about 30 minute integration or so, which is also mostly noise. So that's then where it really gets tough for Noise Exterminator to show us what it can do. We do that always in comparison with the old version of the Noise Exterminator and with Graxpert. And with Graxpert, I used the latest AI model, which takes like forever to, to process. But I wanted to give Graxpert a fair shot here. So as stated, we start here with the jellyfish. That's the original picture. There's nothing done on it. So I hope in YouTube that's visible, that there is some noise. This is now a one to two resolution, so very highly enlarged. So we start with what Noise Exterminator was able to do, the old version. I used it 60% as I would do for something which doesn't have too much noise. When we toggle, we see that it definitely eliminates the noise but it also kind of leaves patches. It's not completely smooth, so better than nothing. So next we compare the Noise Exterminator with Graxpert. And Graxpert here is much smoother. No artifacts. All these artifacts are gone. Even additional noise, which we see now here with the old Noise Exterminator, Graxpert has removed. So very nice picture Cracksbird has created. And the question is now, can the new noise exterminate and match what Cracksbird actually delivers? And there is one single difference. And you might see that. There's some stars which appearing with Cracksbird which do not appear with noise exterminator. And you will see that much more extreme in the other two examples. The question <laughs> is, are these really stars? Or is this a misinterpretation of Graxpert that it makes noise to stars? And when I looked at the other twos, I'm almost sure it's the second. These are not really stars. It's something AI makes up. Because if we now take the original, so let's close Graxpert and take the original. We move this over each other. I do, I, I do not see any stars that are visible in the original that would disappear with the noise exterminated one. And that makes me almost 100% sure that these are not stars that Graxpert chose. And that also goes in line with what Ross very clearly states, that Chen and I has nothing to do in astrophotography. What Ross does with AI is purely from a calculation point of view, 
but it has no component of Gen NI and here it absolutely pays off. And then there's obviously something else to consider to comparing Graxpert here to Noise Exterminator AI3. To execute this process here took about not even a minute. <laughs> With Graxpert, the new algorithm, I let it run overnight. <laughs> I was just in the, before I went to bed, I was still half a, an hour around and it did probably around 10% of the task. And I have a, I have a rather fast computer. So Noise Exterminator 3 can do things not only a million times faster than Graxpert, but it also from a noise removal point of view is at least equal as good and it does not invent fake stars. So definitely this round goes to Noise Exterminator AI3. So for the next one, let's look at this beauty. That's from the C-Star S30. And by the way, nothing against the C-Star S30. This is really just a very short integration. I think it was also uh, not 100% clear. So this is not a statement against the C-Star. But it is a terrible picture, yes, and that's also why I chose it. It has noise without end. It has practically more noise than it has actually nebulosity. So how did the different solutions deal with that? We start with Noise Exterminator, the old version. So it definitely removes the noise. But as before, it leaves all these artifacts, which look kind of ugly. Graxpert went obviously much faster here because it's a smaller resolution. So let's look at Graxpert. And what you will see is all these spots here which look like stars and that's what I mentioned. It's very very pronounced here. It's all over. It's not patches like with the old noise exterminator but it's it's things which look like dots like stars which appear out of nowhere. And when we now take Noise Exterminator AI3, the new version, you also see that all these patches of Graxpert, they disappear and you see how smooth it is. Just it's really worth here comparing it with the original, what it actually does. It's such amazing stuff. So here again, the noise and it's all gone without any patches. It's just flat. And to be clear, this is without Blur Exterminator. Usually you would do now, before you would do the Noise Exterminator, you would do Blur Exterminator. So the difference would even be more massive. But I really only wanted to show you this process in isolation. But absolutely amazing job and miles ahead of Gregspert. And last but not least, this beauty, even we will see exactly the same results again, but just a third example. Unsharp, noisy picture of M14 from my beginnings, even with nice donuts. Here, noise exterminator. And the moment we open it, we immediately see all the patches. So it, it definitely took the noise, but it doesn't leave a beautiful picture. I mean, Okay, it's not possible here to leave a beautiful picture behind, but still it, it's kind of massive. The artifacts that it on this scale obviously had to do that 100% and then um, it just leaves all this ugliness behind. With that we go to Graxpert, which now interestingly appears sharper than the Noise Exterminator 2, which is actually good. But again, and you see it, for example, here it leaves behind again these kind of fake stars. When we look now at the new Noise Exterminator in comparison with Graxpert, then it's again all these artifacts. For example, if you look at it here, it's a good example, where you see all these little dots which look like stars, which are definitely not stars, which are appearing. And they're actually gone with the Noise Exterminator 3. So also here definitely Noise Exterminator 3 much much faster and definitely the better cleaner picture without artifacts. I hope this was helpful. I know you might have now to reprocess a lot of your old pictures 
and enjoy it in their new noiseless state. I'm sure that you and I are the same thrilled to see what magic comes next out of Russ's direction. When it comes, you can sure that I will cover it again. Until then, clear skies. Thank you.